Hello everyone. Welcome back to Med Surge Mentor. Today let's see a condition from the urinary system that is nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome develops when there is a damage to the filtering part of the kidneys or glomerulus allowing too much protein to leak from the blood into the urine. All right, let's see the condition in detail. Definition of Nephrotic Syndrome Nephrotic syndrome is a group of symptoms that include protein in the urine, low blood protein levels, high cholesterol levels, high triglyceride levels, increased blood clot risk, and swelling. Common etiologies of nephrotic syndrome are glomerulonephritis, cancer, diabetic kidney disease, diseases such as systemic lupus erythematosus and multiple myeloma, genetic disorders, immune disorders, infections such as hepatitis or mononucleosis, and use of certain drugs. Next is pathophysiology of nephrotic syndrome. Due to etiological factors, the glomerular capillary membrane is damaged. Due to this, too much protein leaks from the blood into the urine. As a result of this, there is increased stimulation of the lipoprotein synthesis leading to hyperlipidemia. At the same time, due to the loss of plasma protein, intravascular oncotic pressure is reduced, leading to loss of fluid into the interstitial space. This results in edema and activation of brennan-angiotensin-aldosterone mechanism. Gradually, there is salt and water retention, leading to generalized edema and further complications. Commonly seen clinical features of nephrotic syndrome are swelling in the face, eyes, belly, arms and legs, skin rash or sores, foamy appearance of the urine, poor appetite, weight gain from fluid retention, and seizures. Major diagnostic measures done to rule out nephrotic syndrome are albumin blood test, blood chemistry test such as metabolic panel, blood urea nitrogen and creatinine, creatinine clearance urine test, urinalysis and kidney biopsy. Commonly seen complications of nephrotic syndrome are thromboembolic disorders, infections, acute kidney failure, pulmonary edema, hypothyroidism, heart failure, poor nutrition, and high blood pressure. Now let's move on to the management of nephrotic syndrome. And they are blood pressure medication such as angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors and angiotensin II receptor blockers diuretics, cholesterol reducing medications, anticoagulants, corticosteroids, immunosuppressants, antibiotics or antiviral medications, and dialysis. Now let's move on to some of the preventive measures of nephrotic syndrome and they are Monitor blood pressure and kidney function. Consume lean sources of protein like plant-based protein. Eat a low salt diet. Restrict water intake. Reduce the amount of fat and cholesterol in diet. Maintain a healthy lifestyle. And avoid smoking. Now let's move on to the nursing diagnosis for patients with nephrotic syndrome. And they are 
excess fluid volume related to decreased kidney function, imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirement related to inability to digest and absorb nutrients, fatigue related to discomfort and edema, knowledge deficit regarding disease condition, and risk for infection related to inadequate secondary defenses. Nursing cares for patients with nephrotic syndrome are monitor weight, intake output, and blood values, advice to limit fluid intake, encourage high potassium, low fat, low sodium diet with moderate amount of protein, consider six small nutrient dense meals instead of three larger meals, limit activities, Assess for an increase in temperature and respiratory changes. Advice to avoid exposure to persons with existing infections. Administer corticosteroids and other drugs as prescribed. And administer antibiotic therapy as ordered. Today we have seen regarding nephrotic syndrome. It is a collection of symptoms due to kidney damage and the common clinical features are protein in the urine, low blood albumin, high blood lipids and significant swelling. However, treatment is directed based on the underlying cause. Common managements are blood pressure medications, diuretics, lipid lowering agents, antibiotics and dialysis. Hope this session was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.